tears in my hair They counsel me, they understand They talk to me You got your rules and your religion All designed to keep you safe But when rules start getting broken You start questioning Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the WWE Wrestling Talk Show with Reese Rock Jones and After such a long time of pay-per-views this year We are finally going to bring you the final pay-per-view event of 2017 When Smackdown presents Class of Champions Supposedly for one night of the year where every championship is on the line But that tends to happen every pay-per-view these days But before we bring you the Class of Champions match card, we shall revert back a couple of days to when WWE brought us its 15th annual tribute to the Troops event on December the 14th. This show featured five matches, combined talents of both Raw and SmackDown. A lot of them referenced the upcoming Class of Champions cards, so be warned. Spoiler alert! The uh, show started off with a six-man tag team match we've seen developing on Raw in which The Shield, otherwise known as Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins and the Intercontinental Champion Roman Reigns took on the team of Samoa Joe and the Raw Tag Team Champions of The Bar in Cesaro and Seamus. The eventual winners of this match, following a spear to Cesaro, were The Shield. Next we had a women's triple threat match on the SmackDown side of things when Charlotte Flair, the SmackDown Women's Champion accompanied by Naomi would take on Carmella who would be accompanied by Ravison, Lassen, Lana and Tamina took on Ruby Riot, who would be accompanied by her Riot Squad, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. This is a, a, gives a slight nod to what might happen tonight, the Class of Champions, because we are coming at you a little later than we normally would. But the eventual winners of this match, or should I say winner of this match, with her now patented uh, figure eight on Carmella was the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte. Next we had a 8 man tag team match sticking with Smackdown in which The New Day or should we say 
actually uh, mm. the new day came out to a new charm rather than new day rocks or new day sucks they started a very patriotic chant to you essay considering that they are paying tribute to their troops it does actually work they would team up with the smackdown tag team champions usos to take on the team of american alpha 2.0 otherwise known as chad cable and sultan benjamin who would team up with rusev day of rusev and aiden english who have been i would say interesting in tag team over the past few interesting development because all four of these teams will take part in a particular match as we will get to in a while when we go through class of champions the winners of this match were the team of the new day and the usos Next, we went to a six-woman tag team match on the raw side of things when the absolution, otherwise known as the team of Paige, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville took on the team of the boss, Sasha Banks, everyone's favourite huggable woman Bailey and the veteran Mickey James. Yeah. Yes, I don't think it came as a surprise that the absolution would eventually win this match considering that they're a new group who needs to be uh Established, or should we call them the Shield Women? <laughs> but we uh, finished this event with a six man tag team match. <laughs> and this was definitely a preview of what's to come tonight because this was a match. Featuring the Viper Randy Orton teaming up with the WWE champion AJ Styles and the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura to take on the Yesterday Maharaja Jinder Mahal Kevin Owens and Zami Zayn <coughs> The winners of this match following a finishing sequence such as I remember correctly was a phenomenal forearm to Kevin Owens, an RKO to uh, Jinder Mahal, and a Kinshasa to Zami Zayn, otherwise or it could be the other way around. But the answer winners were the team of AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and since came Nakamura. Uh, before we head over to Class of Champions, side note here, this event also saw JBL return to commentary and Lillian Garcia make a uh, rare appearance as the winning announcer. She came. 
just uh, so come to team will be slightly different when Raw as its uh, 25th anniversary in January, but we'll get to that in January. Now, the main attraction in just in just a couple of hours of time, about in about six uh, in about six hours f- fifteen minutes, I believe it is. Smackdown goes live in the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts for Class of Champions with a total of seven matches well, six on the main card one on the pre-show the pre-show match will feature the Zack Ryder going one on one with Mojo Rawley following the abrupt, well, it wasn't a be teased and defenseful breakup of the Hype Bros. The main card, however, will feature. You guessed it, championship matches. Yes. <laughs> the first of which, of course, is the WWE Championship. AJ Styles will defend the WWE Championship, which he won in Manchester, I am pleased to say, against yes, the yesterday Maharaja. Jinder Mahal, who will be accompanied by the Yesterday Brothers as well. Now, I pray to the heavens above that WWE have finally going to put a stop to this failed experiment to expand their market into India. If they decide that they only put the WWE Championship onto AJ Styles so that he could have the match of Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series, I would be extremely annoyed because this whole time when they, when uh, the Jinder Mahal was supposed to go into India to defend the WWE Championship. They then decided that he was going to go into India to face Triple H, which he did, and he lost. So please do not give the championship back now, because then that probably means that the match at WrestleMania will be Jinder Mahal versus John Cena, and we know for a fact the crowd will just take a shit on that. So common sense says AJ Styles to retain WWE logic it could be anything. <laughs> Next we have a triple threat match for the United States Championship when Baron Corbin defends the championship against the Glorious Bobby Root and the know off Dolph Ziggler. Now, we, uh, this was originally supposed to be a one on one match between Corbin and Root. But then the Papa just suddenly decided to put Ziggler in. The only thing that makes sense about that is that Ziggler is going to be the person who ends up being pinned or made to submit, in my opinion. Because otherwise, at this stage in his career and his current role in WWE, it makes no sense to put the United States Championship on him. 
Uh, I can't decide prediction right? I mean, I can see Bobby Lee retaining and, and then not doing quite. Sorry, Corbin retaining. <laughs> and then. Because they want to delay the title change until, like, for London or something. But then I could also see Bobby Roode be glorious and emerge victorious and get his first singles title on the main roster. Next, we have a Lumberjack match for the SmackDown Women's Championship when Charlotte defends against Natalia. Now, Lumberjack match. We have Charlotte and Natalia in the ring. Every other woman, which will include Riot Squad of Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan, Naomi, Lana, Tammy and Tammy and Lana and Camilla. I might have said Lana twice there. Will surround the room to make sure that uh, Charlotte and Natalia stay in the room. This I can only see lead into chaos because we know that the other women are currently happy with the uh, members of the Riot Squad. So where what, what I see this going is Charlotte retains Chaos Silhouettes and then Carmella cashes in. So that would be three out of the four championship matches uh, that will take place tonight. Next and the final one is a fatal four way tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Yeah. Originally scheduled to be a uh, Chip of Fed, but one team was added, and but the teams are the Usos defending against the New Day, American Alpha 2.0, Sultan Benjamin and Chad Cable, and Russia and Aiden English. Here I see only well t- two part three possible outcomes either the Usos retain either Benjamin and Gable win the titles or Rusev and Ingress win the t- titles to me it does not make sense to put the uh, belts back on the new day after the rivalry with the Usos, which has more or less been settled. It's Benjamin and Gable have been uh, teased as the next tag team champions for a while now. And maybe it's a bit too soon to put the titles on Russo and Aids in English. So, those are the title matches. I suppose we could leave it there, considering this class of champions, every title is on the line. However, we have two more matches to bring you. We shall start with the one which is uh, slightly less complicated. And that is 
when Rafasin police, otherwise known as Brizango, will take on the team of the Wyatt family. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. The Brudgeon brothers. Uh, what just happened? I'm rolling as they are these days. I don't see any other outcome here apart from the Bludgeon Brothers winning. With the way that this is good, with the way all of this has been built up and the way they're building up the Bludgeon Brothers, it makes no sense for Blizzango to uh, win unless they are going to tease something with the fashion files. But then, we get to the... I'm not sure whether this is going to be the main event or the co-main event. Complicated tag team match. The team of uh, Kevin Owens and Zami Zayn have been running around basically doing what the heck they wanted to do for a while now. So, a few weeks ago, they, Randy Orton was pissed off after they interfered in their match with Survivor Series and the traditional one. So he took on Kevin Owens, was it? Yes. In a one-on-one -on -one match, which after it ended, he was on the receiving end of a beatdown. Earlier on in the night, it had been said that he would for he and the uh, partner of his choosing would face Kevin Owens and Zami Zayn as class champions. Following this uh, two-on-one beatdown, Shinsuke Nakamura would come out and uh, make the save. And, and then the partner was chosen. So Randy Orton will team up with Shinsuke Nakamura to face Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, but it's not stop there. This match was made. A Shane McMahon put himself in as the special guest referee. Yes. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the following week on SmackDown, we had the Yep movement. Are you idiot? Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn tried to occupy SmackDown the way that Daniel Bryan occupied Raw on the lead to WrestleMania 40. They even had t-shirts which said yep 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 on them. Like. Blatantly buff off the yes movement. But it did end up in a uh, interesting development because Daniel Bryan came out to the ring and said that in this match there would be a second yes, you heard me right second guest referee and that man would be himself yes 
So like we like we said before, this is what's going to happen at the moment. We have Randy Orton teaming up with Shinsuke Nakamura to face Kevin Owens and Zami Zayn in a tag team match with two special guest referees, Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan, and the stipulation of if if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn lose, they will be fired from the WWE. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, what could possibly go wrong in my match? And, quite frankly, this match has one thing written all over it. Heel turn. Question is... Yes, the question is who? You could possibly make an argument for Randy Orton because he he does apparently want to turn heel again but out of the possibilities I would say that's the least likely one to happen the, the likely one that to happen is either Shane McMahon turns heel which has been um, teased in a way and that this whole thing is a swerve because he doesn't want to uh, hide it with that or whatever and that's where my thoughts are going there but if it's not Shane McMahon this could possibly be a heel turn for Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan has not been a hero since two, since 2012. I, yeah. We shall find out in a couple of hours and bring you the events of what happened this upcoming week. I shall be eagerly watching tonight. I'm sure that uh, my partner will wait until tomorrow morning to watch it. So join us next week where we shall give you the uh, results for Backlash and we will wish you all a Merry Christmas because it's that wonderful time of year again. We saw Rock Jones and he's been. Enjoy Rock Jones.